everybody. Today's video is a 1980 Trillium 1300. This is originally from Canada. And I'm going to show you the outside here. I am at a vintage camper rally at Happy Holiday RV Park in Cherokee, North Carolina. And this is the van that it's towed with. And I'm going to show you that too. But first, we're going to see the camper. So... This is Becky, and Becky's going to tell us all about it. This is her camper. Uh, this Here. is my 1980 Trillium that we've been restoring. We've been restoring it for about a year now. Me and my husband found it on a four-wheeling trip that we got lost on. Well, that's and, an interesting story. Um, and they have these little mushrooms. They're fiberglass, so you can sit on them or just use them for decoration. So, this is a 1980, you said? Uh-huh, 1300. And do you know how much it weighs? How much? 1300. About 1300. All right, we're going to go inside because this is really, really cute. Look at this. This is one of the cutest ones I've ever seen. Actually, I've never filmed a Trillium before. This is the same basic layout as a U-Haul, a Scamp, a Burrow and a 13-foot casita. They all have the same layout. So, Becky, come on in and tell me all about what condition was it in when you got it? It was pretty rough, um, but but good. Um, we had to do a lot of painting. We've done a lot of woodworking. Um, I removed a refrigerator. It had a stove and a sink, but I wanted more room, so we built a shelf, shelves, cabinet, the new table, um, took the fiberglass shelves down. My husband built wood shelves on the left side right now. And then we'll do the other side, hopefully this year. These are the ones she's talking about. So you have baskets up there for storage. Uh-huh. So that's where I keep our clothes. And then I just had my cushions redone. They're very comfy. This folds down, of course, and makes a bed. Mm-hmm. So it's like a full size. Mm-hmm. Yep. The table, obviously, is not original. No. Did you guys make that? We did make that. That is really nice. And eventually, the cabinets will all be the same kind of wood. Yeah, so the countertop matches the table. And then you're going to do these cabinet uh -huh. doors that way. All the rest of the cabinet doors and this shelf here we're going to redo. Okay. To make it wood. Now, is this what they call elephant skin? Um, this was, oh gosh, what was it or called? Or in Insulite. 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 I think it's what they nickname it, elephant mm -hmm. skin. And it looks like you had bunks this here. This used to be a bunk bed. Yes. Okay. And it had the, had the two cushions. Came with all the cushions and everything, so, but we didn't have use for a bunk bed. Kids are grown. Mm-hmm. So we made a couch instead it's so of So cute. It. And then the fantastic fan at the top gives you airflow. You don't have air conditioning? No, not yet. And okay. we still got to finish this out. It needs a screen and some trim. and Yeah, it's getting some flies uh -huh. up in there. I've been catching all kinds of flies. I have to get some screening. And what's one. your favorite part of this camper? Uh, this, the size. Just, she's just so cute. and It's unique. a 13 foot, right? Yep. And it's very unique. Yeah. It, it feels very be... roomy inside. And what's that little thing down there? That is to give us some cool air. <laughs> Does it work? A so-so. So-so. At just... night it gets pretty cool, but okay. it's not going to be a permanent thing for sure. Well, I haven't seen cabinets like this before where it sticks out like that. Yeah. It's a mess on the inside. I've not seen that before. But he built he me shelves, shelves in here. And he's going to build me some more shelves, more shelving in here eventually. Yeah, so the scamps in Casita, this is just flat right here. Uh -huh. This mm -hmm. came original to it, but I got these at a swap meet. Comes off, I think it was a 1975 pickup truck that I just painted. And hopefully I'll find some more and put. Yeah, good idea. Because you can put stuff in it, but it uh -huh. hides it. Yeah. And the camper's name is In Spite of Ourselves. Uh -huh. Yeah. It's mine and my husband's song. It's John Prime's song. If you hadn't heard it, you need to listen to it. All right, and what's your favorite place you've camped in it so far? Probably um, the Nullichucky. 
Nolichucky Gorge. Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. In Irwin, Tennessee. Yep. I know that campground. Lots of videos at that campground on my channel. All right, we're going to look at the outside a little bit more, and then we're going to see her husband's van. I like the step, We too. made this step ourselves as well. Which matches the table and the <laughs> counter. Yeah. She's adding some vintage wares here. Got your spare tire on the back. We've done all the wiring. So you don't have any leaks in here? Nope, we fixed them. The belly band will give you problems on that eventually. So you have to yeah. redo it. Alright, let's move up here to the van. Let's see if he's got this ready. This is James. And he's going to show us his van. Are you ready for us? He's over there visiting, look. Are you ready to show? Look at this, guys. That is where you sleep. Now, in the lighting here, it's a little hard to see. I'm going to go in. Tell me, James, what the van is. It's a 1976 uh, I'm going to jump up, guys. G30. G30? Yes, ma'am. Just bump my head. Look at uh, this. That's, that's the bed. It's got a, it raises up for storage in the back. Uh, it's got subwoofers, my stereo components, everything in there. Um, this was a build that we started about 10, 12 years ago. And uh, this is my high school dream. High school dream. Yeah. Took you a little while, huh? Well, mom and dad wouldn't let me have one when I was in high school. And can you hear him say that louder again? I said my mom and dad was uh, wouldn't let me have a van while I was in high school. And this is my, my high school dream. He finally and, got uh, it. I wasn't I allowed to it. go out with a guy with a van when <laughs> I was in high school. You can all figure that out one out. Okay. Look at the floors. That now, all the floors are paper bag. Paper bags? Yes. That's paper bag. Uh -huh. we, uh, and you just pile your thing? And pile it over it, glued it down, pile it, and the actual the Chevrolet emblem right here was a mistake. And then we figured, well, we can't pull it up. So we Oh, just, that was a mistake. And then we said, well, we got to do something with it. We can't pull it up. So we made a Chevrolet emblem. Okay. And just flipped the bags different to get that different texture color. And this is the van when you were working on it? No, that's just a picture that we had found uh, of it when it was in the assembly line. Oh, okay. And uh, wow. we did we did the, the mirrors, the lights, everything was the paper bag. Custom built the overhead console. Uh, Got shag carpet. Shag carpet on the roof, the velvet on the on the walls. Uh, now you used to do a van meetup, and what was that uh, called? We uh, well, I'm president of Homegrown Customs Van Club. I and how do you spell Tennessee. that? With a K for Homegrown customs? Customs with a K, yes. Okay. Um, and uh, we are several members. We have several members. We're about 10 years old with the club. And uh, we do events. Uh, we've got, with the Su Great Southern Van Run, we'll be here at the Holiday Campgrounds in the fall of this year. Um, That's in Cherokee, North Carolina mm -hmm. is where we are. Yes. And how do they find you? We actually just internet, and we was just a bunch of guys just putting some things together, and here we are. Just, is there a Facebook group? There's a Facebook, Homegrown Customs with a K. Okay. So look that up if you're interested in the vans. And I'm going to show you again. This is the pa this is paper bags, too? Yes, ma'am. And that's the console. Wow. All right, James. You got Oh, you got a CB radio. It's all 70s correct as far as as the keep on trucking thing. All right. I'm gonna walk you around outside here. It's a big step. Look at that. Oh, let me show you the Chevy emblem here. You can see it better there on the floor. And here's the front. Homegrown Customs up there over the windshield, if you can see that. That's with a K. And it's called the Green Bean? The Green Bean. Yes, ma'am. 
Now, is this a daily driver, or you just do it for no, special it's, events? It's very matter of fact, we just put the motor in it. It's a maiden voyage from Bristol, Tennessee to Cherokee. Okay. Just put the motor in it. All right. Thank you, James. We'll see you all on the next video. Make sure you hit that thumbs up and like it. Bye. Not done yet, guys. I just found out some more stuff. If you can see this pattern on here, it's a lace. And tell me how you did that, James. I uh, cut the bottom of the wife's shower curtain off. And, was she uh, happy about that? No, I told her Walmart sold her two different shower curtains. Oh, can you see that, guys? I don't know. It's There's a pattern in there. It's just, there you go. Now you can see it. And you just sprayed that into the paint job? My brother did, yes. Okay, and then we wanted to show you, this is a garage in the back of the van. And he's got all this storage back here. And there's the logo for the band. Homegrown Customs Van Club. All right. And then he wanted to show us something up here that happened. Now, when he said, sorry about the wind. When he said this is a maiden voyage, he meant the maiden voyage with this motor. And where did this motor come from? This motor was custom. This motor, it's in it now, come out of a 73 Class C Chevrolet. Okay. And, uh, but uh, the motor that was in it before is what done this damage because we did a burnout contest right after we painted it. And did you lose or win? We won the contest, but I lost. But you lost the nice paint job. Yeah. It was uh, a lot of change went down the drain at that point. Yeah. But it's, it's cool. It's, uh, it's all in it. It's you all know? in the fun. It's all in the fun. And, uh, all right, guys, I am going to do some still shots here of the camper in the van, so don't leave yet. And don't forget, hit that thumbs up. We will see you on the next video. Bye.